So I wanted to become an emergency room physician since I was probably eight or nine, but the path that I've taken to get there is a lot different than I expected. I never expected to join student government. It wasn't something I had been involved in before. I didn't expect to become a hall director of one of the residence halls, to go to Peru and do health campaigns and learn a little bit of Spanish that way, and to do research. I was able to go home and do research in um, one of the great labs that we have in Buffalo. Hi, I'm Natalie Blatz, and I am a biochemistry major, psychology minor from Buffalo, New York. Coming into liberal arts, I honestly didn't really know exactly what that would mean for me. I was surprised, oh, I have to take art classes and humanities classes, but it's been really interesting. I've been taking a lot of different art classes, you know, weaving. I took theater makeup where I got to paint my face in different ways every week, which was fun. I've taken intro to Quaker history, which I think was really great, you know, coming to a Quaker school. I had an idea of what Quakerism was, but being able to learn the background of it was really interesting and just exposing me to more psychology and history that I hadn't gotten before. So I started weaving because my mom and I always joked, you know, underwater basket weaving. Everyone always says, oh, you can go to school and take a crazy classes like that. So I took weaving to fill credits and just because it sounded fun. And I ended up coming back for another semester and um, it just, it's allowed me to express creativity in a way that I haven't necessarily been able to in every aspect of my life and being able to apply that creativity to approaching my future and looking at new ways and how to reach the same end goal but take a different path. So the small class sizes, you know, I've built bonds with my classmates both in my major and outside of my major. Sitting in our senior seminar this semester, I look around and I see people that I've taken a number of classes with and just being able to see each other and support each other and say, oh, like, what are you doing next year? That's awesome. I like can't wait to see what you do, but also having professors multiple times in multiple classes and just being able to build a relationship with them inside and outside the classrooms. You know, a lot of them come and support my field hockey games or go out and support the choirs and things like that. And seeing them inside and outside the classroom really helps build that relationship. One of the more important things I've done on my path to becoming a physician is the research I did last summer through the Epic Advantage program at Cannon Stroke and Vascular Research Center in Buffalo. It was research I did making blood clots to test new devices that were being developed developed for stroke patients. So looking back on it all, I've done so much and I really don't know how I did it all. It was definitely a combination of ambition, late nights, and the support that I got from the Earlham community.